What's up Scorpio? Love forecast for you guys for what's coming in in the first two weeks of June. That's June 1st through till the 15th. This is for my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the first two weeks of June in the area of love? Any love messages for Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? First half of June. What can you tell my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Coming in for them in the area of love. First two weeks of June. Okay, guys, feels good. Devil card, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Okay, Scorpio. Whew. All right, what I'm picking up here is that you have a situation where there's some unhealthy um, influences, attachments, something toxic that's interfering with your Ten of Pentacles, with your long-term happiness, with your long-term stability. Ten of Pentacles is about like really things that you have that you're seeing for your future, right? Your future vision. I've got the Three of Cups, so I'm seeing that there could be some energies around you that are interfering with, say, a particular connection. You could be in kind of a third party situation, that's for some of you, like, but for others of you, it could be just not romantic, but there could be some interfering energies, friends, family, um, etc. okay? So the Devil card to me, this is, I'm picking up some energy that's sort of getting in the way, okay? Queen of Cups, this is you showing up in your own read. Okay, or you're dealing with another water sign, another Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and we've got Capricorn energy with the devil, but this is you being very much in your feels and also in your intuition, okay? Sussing things out because you could be sensing that there's some stuff that's not working, okay? Six of Swords, yeah, you're kind of feeling like maybe it's time to sail away from the drama. Tell me about this Three of Cups, yeah, Five of Pentacles. There's definitely some outside energies that have been interfering and you're feeling quite left out in the cold. You might be thinking you wanna leave someone out in the cold now and sail away towards something that's more you know, aligned with your happiness, with the Sun card. We've got the Ace of Swords, so this represents clarity. This also represents conversation. So you could be feeling in the first two weeks of June that you wanna have a conversation with a person where you feel like things aren't, aren't going your way. Um, Ace of Swords is about speaking your truth. Okay, let's get a little bit more about this Five of Pentacles and Three of Cups. Yes, okay, and then we have the Lovers card. Okay, so the Lovers card, you do have a strong soul connection here, but this is also about duality and choices. So you could be dealing with someone that needs to make a decision um, because there's interfering energies here, or you deciding maybe that you wanna leave a situation, move towards something else that's happier. Um, with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, you do have someone that wants to work with you. They want to work towards a new love beginning. Okay, so again, for some of you, that means you've got someone around you. Maybe some of you work with someone. Um, that's just for some of you, but for others of you, it's like you've got someone around you that really does want to work um, for the love. Okay, um, and that could be what's happening in, in an existing connection where there's interfering parties because there's a conversation that needs to be had. Um, to get some clarity. So it could be that you're moving out of that drama now with your person, or you could be deciding you wanna move away from drama because you've got another person um, you know, presenting, okay? Um, Eight of Swords means that you've been feeling quite trapped for some time with regards to a particular situation. You feel like your hands are tied. You're trying to get over some hurt or pain. So there could have been some betrayal or some backstabbing here. Um, again, because I'm picking up some some outside energies, right? Or otherwise this is just between you and a particular person, maybe in terms of the way that um, the connection has played out. And with the devil card, this can also be addictions, fears. There could have been all sorts of things that were just sort of interfering and causing a lot of pain in the connection, okay? With the emperor card and the strength card, this is about you taking back your authority, okay? And the emperor card is also you dealing with someone that wants to put the work or the effort in, okay? So I feel like you could have someone, you know, that wants to now put in this effort, okay? And leave behind this drama, Ten, ten of Swords. This is about getting to the end of a cycle. Um, or you're taking back control 
okay? And taking back some strength to move ahead towards something that you feel is gonna make you happier, okay? Because Two of Swords, I really feel like a decision needs to be made. It's like you're stuck, okay? You're feeling quite stuck and stagnant. Four of Cups, there's like a, a relationship here. You're not sure if you wanna take the cup anymore. Death card, you know that something needs to end in order for something better to begin, either within this existing connection or you need to move on to something new. Um, that's you showing up in your own read as the death card. We've also got Leo energy, Aries energy, Gemini energy with the lovers card, guys. And then I've got a six of pentacles. So death and six of pentacles means the ending of um, a situation where you feel like you're being breadcrumbed or things are uneven, you know, there's unequal give and take. This sometimes can be codependency when I get devil and six of pentacles in the same reading. I sometimes feel like this could be that you're over investing um, in a situation to your detriment, okay? It's, it's getting to the point where it's toxic. And then I've got the page of wands and the hermits. So this is you doing some soul searching about new directions, okay? This also could be, like I said, a conversation being had between a person and you about which way forward perhaps to take a new direction with this particular person or that you wanna move ahead towards a new offer. Okay, I, I'm sensing that this is choices and decision because I have the Hierophant card and the Fool guy. So this is taking a leap towards something that's really committed. This is also you thinking about your values and what's really important to you. Hierophant card's really about that. And it's also about learnings and, and higher learning. So I do feel like all this pain has kind of taught you something maybe about self-worth, etc. And the Fool card and the Hierophant means taking a leap for a new cycle or a new beginning. Um, so either you are sailing away towards something new that's really committed um, or you're going to take that next step with this particular person and move ahead but something has to end in order for things to begin. But I feel like a conversation is being had in the first two weeks of June about um, that's going to clarify things. The sun card is about clarity, okay? It's like an honest conversation needs to be had. Um, with the full card, you could have a new opportunity taking you overseas or you're dealing with someone um, at a distance or overseas, okay? Um, you know, either that's the existing connection or you've got something new coming in, but I do feel like this is leaps towards new beginnings, okay? With the full Aquarius energy with that full card. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of cards for this specific person on your mind, okay? So tell me, please, Spirit, a little bit more about this person for Scorpio. Feelings and intentions towards Scorpio. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Guys, there you go. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Swords coming out again. So an honest conversation needs to be had. There is a stuckness here, Two of Swords. Okay, this person is feeling like the connection's stuck. They're hoping with the Wheel of Fortune things are going to turn in their favor. There's definitely a sense of feeling left out in the cold. So either you've done that, Scorpio, or they they're aware that they're kind of leaving you out in the cold with their behavior. And King of Cups means that there is love here, okay? There's definitely emotions at play and there's love here. But the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, it's almost like either this person is um, afraid to commit because sometimes this can be stuck in that sort of single self-focused energy. Um, or you are in a relationship with this person, but they kind of they want to focus on themselves and they're feeling quite stuck. They're, they're just not sure on the direction. And I think that this conversation does need to be had and there needs to be clarity um, around it, you know. Or maybe they feel like, like, you know, you're kind of leaving them out in the cold and you're focused on you. I don't know. There's some kind of, there's a lack of clarity here, Scorpio, okay? So a conversation needs to be had. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles, how this person feels towards Scorpio. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups and the High Priestess. Scorpio, you might be um, taking some silence from this person, okay, with the High Priestess. Maybe you took a step back or, you know, with the High Priestess, this also represents secrets and things hidden. Maybe, you, you know, you feel like they keep you in the dark or they feel like you keep them in the dark, okay, because I've got the Moon card here. Um, but this is about secrets and things that haven't been revealed. So again, I feel like some, someone needs to have a conversation um, with the other about what's going on and get some clarity here. We've got Pisces Cancer energy with the moon and Pisces energy with the High Priestess. And then we've got the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. They do want to chat with you. Eight of Wands is communication. They want to come in with a loving offer because there's genuine emotions here. 
And they do see you as someone that they could commit to for the long term, but there's definitely something stuck. I've also got a queen of cups. So we've got a king and queen of cups here. So this is a match. So you're matching this person on an emotional level. Okay, but I'm feeling that there is just a lack of clarity here and there's some devil energy that's interfering with the connection. Okay, guys, so I feel like, as I say, conversations need to be had and then you'll be able to make a decision whether you want to kind of stick with this or whether you want to move ahead on to something else. Okay, I'm going to get you a romance angel. Romance angel, please, Scorpio. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Well, we did have the lover's card, guys. Attraction. Okay, you attract more romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so this person is very attracted to you and vice versa I, I feel devil card can often be that it can be very intense attraction very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now this could be the one you've already met the part romantic partner you seek yeah so there is this sense of you guys being a match like i said you know we've got king and queen and cups here we've got the lovers card there's just a lack of clarity so a conversation needs to be had about what you want and where this is headed, you know? Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? And then I have codependency, and I think I did say that earlier, okay? So addictions are affecting your romantic life. So for some of you, it's actual addictions, um, you know, that need to be cut away or cut out, um, or there's a balancing that needs to happen between you and this person, or you need to work on loving yourself a little more so that you can, you know, get back that balance in the relationship. Um, that's interfering okay but honesty clarity speaking your truth and then deciding how to move forward that's the spirit that's that that's the message that's coming through from spirit scorpio okay all right scorpio i hope that that resonated for you and if so you can give me a like and a comment as i said and i'll check in with you in two weeks time lots of love